Hey guys, this is Jay. So, um, just excuse the setup because uh, it's a bit of a mess right now. So, I'll try to fit all the albums I have in the frame of my phone. So, sorry for the mess. And, um, excuse me if you see like the tripod here. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure so I'm here today to do the 2015 K pop favorites tag. And it was done by, um, Random Me 2011. I know she did one last year. And I didn't do one last year because I didn't start doing videos until the end of 2014. So I'm here to do one this year. So I'm just going to go through the um, the albums. So, I mean, there I've had other albums I wanted to do, but I don't have them physically. So I'm just going to do the albums that I do have. Um, so the first one is favorite album, hands down, Wonder Girls reboot. Um, my history with Wonder Girls... I knew of the Wonder Girls, um, at the time, it was like 2013, when I got, when I heard about the Wonder Girls, and, um, this was when they were taking their break at this point, this was like after the Wonder Party album, so, um, no one really knew what was going on with the Wonder Girls at that time, and I think the first song I heard from them was... Um, Love Like Money, is that the name of the song? I think it's Love Like Money with Akon, when they came to America. And I really liked the song. And so I tried to, so I decided to check out the oldest stuff, and then I checked out, like, this was, became, which was, like, my favorite at the time. I, I really loved, like, this, and I really liked the video. Like, kind of like that, um, oh, what is it, the, the term called, um, flash mob kind of thing. I, I thought it was really fun. So that was kind of like my introduction to Wonder Girls. So at the time they were, were about to come out with Reboot, the future for Wonder Girls was kind of up in the air because no one knew what going, was going on. I mean, so he left the group. You know, she didn't renew her contract, so she left. And then son, she decided to go raise her family, which I can't be mad at whatsoever. So, and then Sunny did her solo stuff, so no one really knew what was going to be going on with the girls. Like, are they coming back? Are they going to break up? Blah, blah, blah. No one knew. And then JYP announced that, yes, they were coming back, and they were coming back as a band. So, that was really exciting because not too many girl groups do have, like, are, like, bands. Not even, even, like, in the States. Like, they're not many female groups period but let alone that actually play instruments so I think the only k-pop group that I can think of that played instruments was AOA back when they debuted they don't really do that much as of late I mean I kind of hope that they will go back to that but besides AOA I can't really think of any other group that you know played instruments so it's good to see that they decide to switch it up and you know, play instruments for this album, and honestly, just sonically, like musically, it's just it's a one. It's amazing. It's like the sound of the album is definitely like late eighties, early nineties. So I'm not sure if you know anyone that grew up in the two thousands would really understand it unless you grew up with that type of music. But I'm 26, so this is right around my era. You know, the era of like. Madonna, Janet, MJ, that type of thing, you know, in the beginning, kind of like the beginning of like the New Jack Swing type thing, so that was kind of like the music that was out at the time, and it just, instead of them coming out with something 2015, they went back in time, and they made a really great album, um, all these songs are really so, so good, and I really can't pick like a favorite let me see if I can zoom in yeah so I mean Baby Don't Play is one of my favorites but I think I love uh the song I really really love like I listen to a lot is when um the song When Love Tries to Leave if I got the translation right but yeah that's like my favorite of one of my favorites from the album zoom back out but yeah definitely just an amazing album and I'm really glad that the Wonder Girls came back. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do next year. But I really hope they release something next year. <coughs> Excuse me. And 
Yeah, so definitely, definitely give this album a listen. Definitely worth it. Okay, put this back here. Okay, so the next other question is favorite photo book. Um, I might be a little biased, so I'm gonna go with uh Jungkook's base just because I get to stare at pictures of Jungkook the whole time. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, maybe a little biased, but I mean, just look at him like. Let me see if I can, like, zoom in. Yeah, okay, way better. I mean, just the photos are just really well done. And the fact that he has his clothes on the entire time, so that's good for my sanity. Because I don't know if I can handle him half naked the whole time, so thank you for that. Yeah, like I said, maybe I'm just being a little biased because that is my second ultimate bias. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite photo books. Um, not saying that that's like the only one that I like because I really did like the photo book for Icons Welcome Back. Um, I really did like the photo book for um, BTS is in the Move for Love Part 1, 4 Minutes Crazy. So yeah, so that's just like the one I really like the most. Um... Favorite packaging, I would go with Got Sevens, uh, just right. Just you know, just it's like really sturdy, stable, thick, and not only that, but you have four, three, must be four, three photo books. So it's just you get a whole bunch of pictures of the boys. You can't go wrong with seeing a whole bunch of pictures of Got Seven. So. You know, and then like, you know, just the outfits are really colorful, bright, you know, big letters, you know, not really things that's kind of like really difficult to see. Because I really hate that in photo books where it's like they have writing and it's really hard to, you know, read. Well, except for this part here, it's like the track was kind of tiny. But other than that, I mean, for the most part, you know, definitely I like the bright colors of that. You know, the entire photo book. Okay, put this back. Okay. So, um, yes, yeah, so that, that favorite packaging would be Got7. Least favorite packaging, hands down. Made series. Jewel cases, YG? Really? Now, I'm not saying I'm expecting the main series to have packages like these. But I just think, you know, at least, I don't know. I feel like maybe it could have been something like, uh, I don't know, maybe something like, you know, Shiny's Married to the Music or something like that. So where it's like, you know, you have this like photo book and you have the album. If you're going to put it in a jewel case, at least do something like this. Even though I wasn't like ultimately a huge fan, but I understand that it's just four songs, but just straight jewel cases. And the fact that, you know, people had to pay a lot of money for a bunch of jewel cases. I just find it ridiculous, honestly. Not saying that, I mean, the music made up for it, but it's just, no, not my favorite at all. Um, Favorite album from a rookie? Uh, I'd probably go with Icon. Um, it was either between Icon and Monster X, but I liked more songs from Icons. And um, like I said, I did say in the past that I wasn't like completely like floored. Like these were like amazing songs, but I do like them. I'm just hoping that when this album comes out next week, that it'll be, you know collectively a great album i'm really anticipating the whole album to come out so i'm definitely gonna get that a listen um but i really i think my favorite song from welcome back would be rhythm ta i know some people kind of like iffy with that one but i don't know like some people say it's kind of like giving them uh like 
old school Big Bang, but it gave me, um, honestly, it gave me more one time vibes from just the song and the video. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, like, like I said, it's my favorite song. And I also liked, um, uh, Make You Proud, Sorry I Throw a Blank. Make You Proud, I really like that song because, you know, just one of the songs that kind of showcases all the the vocals, the vocal line in the group instead of having it just behind Bobby the whole song. So yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Um, album that surprised you. Four Minute. Four Minute's crazy. Definitely surprised me. Okay, here's the thing with me and Four Minute. I like Four Minute. I've been a fan of Four Minute since 2013. But I was only just mainly the singles with Four Minute. So when they came out with Crazy... Um, I, I was like, okay, you know, of course, anything for me, I'm gonna check it out. I wasn't really crazy about Cold Rain at first. I was like, alright, cause I'm not really used to for me doing slower songs. I was like, alright, you know, I'm gonna just wait till like the actual title track. Cause I know they came out with the teasers. I really like the teasers that they came out with. And I was like, okay, I'm going to wait till the, you know, the title track comes out. And then it came out with Crazy and it completely threw me. Because just the song I had heard prior sounded nothing like Crazy. So when Crazy came out, I immediately fell in love with it. Like the song was dope. The video was dope. Of course, Paris Gobel did the choreography, which is like a plus plus in my book. And just, this is just a solid mini album. I really, really was surprised that I really liked all the songs. I really did. So definitely Four Minutes Crazy was an album that surprised me and I really did like the packaging for this as well. So if you get a chance, definitely check out this album. It's really good for Four Minutes. Um, I'm not sure they're going to come out with anything next year, but obviously if they do, I'm going to check it out. Um, A favorite Japanese release from a K-pop group. Um, The only one I have is Shiny's Your Number. I really love the song. I mean, this is their, I think their first release from this year was Your Number before they came out with Odd and Married to the Music. But I really love the song. I really love the video. All the boys look great in it, but I just really love this song. I don't know what it is about it, but I just, I, I always listen to it. And I listen to it a lot when I got it. And the last one is Random Album Recommendation. This is tough because all these albums are pretty solid. But if I had to pick one, I'd have to go with EXO's Exodus. I really, really enjoyed this album. I really this is like their uh, second full length album. And I know a lot of people were wondering like what's going to happen you know, with the whole drama with the members thing. But honestly, just the music was so, so, so good. Like, uh, Call Me Baby, obviously, was a great one. Transformer is probably my favorite song. Um, what If, definitely, like, like, I'm not really a crazy person, like, really crazy about ballads, but I, for the most part, I like EXO's like ballad e R and B slow jams. Like I, I really like those. So like what if and my answer was a definitely a great one. Exodus, El Dorado. I loved El Dorado. Like honestly, when I think of El Dorado, I think of Lightsaber. Like for some reason, like I don't know if they did this live. I think that I think what what made me like El Dorado is so I think what they did um one of their live performances like on a tour. They kinda had like lightsaber ish Things maybe I maybe I'm thinking something else, but if it is EXO, then yeah, I think they kind of had like lightsaber or light stick thingies during the performance of El Dorado, and I just absolutely love that. So if they you know when they do come to the states next year, I really hope they do that here because I would love to see it. And um, of course, Playboy, duh, and Hurt is a great one. So yeah, just like all the songs are really really great. And definitely, I mean, even if you're not an EXO fan, just check it out anyway. I mean, just the music alone is really good. So I would definitely recommend anyone to check out EXO's Exodus. 
So yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, I didn't realize I bought this many albums this year. So like I said, it's pretty hard trying to get all of them in frame. Um, I bought other albums as well, but the other albums I bought were older. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. This is the 2015 K-pop favorites tag. And I hope you guys do do it as well. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.